time. You can find those agenda or those public participation forms either online or in the rear of the room. You can submit them electronically before the meeting or in person. Mr. Bob Brewer, you're first. Come on up. Thank you, Judge and uh, Commissioners, for this opportunity. Today, I would like to applaud Representative Matt Schaefer for putting forth House Bill 2097, which requires Governor Abbott and lesser magistrates to only enforce mask wearing orders that are expressly provided by statute. If this uh, statute passes and is signed into law, I believe it will be identified as uh, Section 1, Numbers 418.2. 012B and 418.108J. This is a good first step for reigning in government, which has forgotten that its preeminent duty is to protect its citizens' God given unalienable rights. It is not to protect a citizen's health, it is not to protect a citizen's welfare, it is not to provide its citizens any other perks that might come to mind, especially if those perks violate someone's unalienable rights. As a reminder, our form of government is a guaranteed Republican form with multiple branches that provide checks and balances, not just within the individual federal level or the state level, but also between the federal, state, uh, county, and local levels, uh, and also among we the people. Each branch has its specific duty that is required by the Constitution to do and to remain within the limits of. The legislative branch's first duty is to write laws, the executive branch's duty is to enforce laws, and the judiciary's duty is to issue opinions on the constitutionality of the laws. These three, three branches are one check, or to check one another if and when another branch is going beyond its limits. In this specific case, Governor Abbott was going beyond his by requiring citizens to wear masks without a law. Regarding branches of government, I consider we the people to be the preeminent branch. It is, by the way, the biggest ink on the top of the U.S. Constitution. And we the people are to ensure that all branches below us are operating as intended and apply corrective action when they are not. In Representative Schaefer, Schaefer's case, he is doing his sworn constitutional duty to check the power of an executive that has exceeded his. Thank you, Representative Schaefer, for setting an example that is long overdue and that is too much underutilized and too mu and much too f in our much too federally focused practice of government. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Stepp. Is Ms. Delon